Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Ryan Makes Sense, where we talk about personal finance, investing, and chart analysis. If you have been a subscriber for a while, thank you so much. If you are new here, uh, please take a look around. Anyways, we are here to do a part two to my cybersecurity video. That video was two hours long, so if you made it through the whole thing or you found some stocks on there that you liked, I actually purchased a couple, so uh, I applaud you for supporting me. Um, but now we're going to go and we're going to look through the ETFs, the cybersecurity ETFs, and we're going to compare it to the notes that we took for the cybersecurity stocks to see which cybersecurity ETF is going to be the best for us or the best for you, depending on your circumstances. So uh, I'll pull up my notes. We'll go back to Finviz, the best site in the world, and we'll hit the subscribe button together. Oh, I mean, we'll look at the ETFs of cybersecurity stocks together. Uh, let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, you guys, we are on the world's most powerful website. I am actually going to join a subscription to Finviz because number one, it's going to help my YouTube business, but also um, there have been some momentum changing industries that are really warming up. And I want to be able to show you guys using the advanced metrics on here versus showing you on Thinkorswim. I'll, I'll do, I'll do on, I'll do both platforms, but um, Finviz is the best. So in terms of screening for stocks. So again, cybersecurity ETFs, sorry to uh, take us off track. Cybersecurity. All right. Um, let's see what we got. So we have BUG, which is Global X Security ETF. We have CIBR, which is First Trust NASDAQ Security ETF. Okay. We have iShares Cybersecurity and Tech ETF. Okay. Uh, ProShares Ultra NASDAQ Cybersecurity ETF. Okay. And Wisdom Tree Cybersecurity ETF. So before we open all of these, because these are ETFs, let's take a look at our notes from the last video. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I'll, I'll make my head smaller. Okay, we're going down, 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 down. Okay, right here. All right, uh, let's just do a quick recap. We're not going to go through all of them. My vacation reservation was just accepted. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you guys, can you see this? My notes, damn it. It is really small for you. Um, I'm, I'm, uh... Okay. I will just read off the good ones. Ticker symbol AKAM, AGN, CSPI, Dell, DTST, FTNT, GLOB, Glob, <laughs> Google, J, LDOS, LEA, MSI, NTCT, NTGR, PANW, PSN, Q L Y S S S N T W K E Y and W Y Y. Those are the good ones. Uh, let's now go into uh, this bug. I'll just open all five of them really quick, and we're just gonna d d d d dive into each one. Bug. All right, bug actually looks like it's on a tear. So it went from twenty twenty to twenty. 425. Okay, uh, that's all good and all. Let's just take a look down here. It pays a dividend. Um, and I don't think this ETF has been around for a while. I don't think any of these ETFs have been, honestly. Okay, it has. It was uh, $10 and then it went to 34 Then it went to 19 Then it went to 30, 25 uh, But the real question is, what are their holdings? This is what we're going to find out. Holdings. Zscaler, Palo Alto Networks, I like both of those. CrowdStrike, FTNT, which is what we had, Checkpoint Software, Okta, Darktrace, QLYS, which is what we saw as well. Tenable Holdings, 10B, that was on our list as well, I believe. 
check back in a year yeah so um blackberry ah uh, why get rid of blackberry gen digital we did review 10 digital uh did we review cybr we did not uh we did see sentinel one uh um all right they have some cash okay so i do like this stock um so zscaler is their number one holding did we have zscaler again i'm sorry we did not um zscaler is a decent company so i'm just gonna we'll look at zscaler here and we'll just determine the uh stock price I really like that it has Pan W, um, 10B, QLYS, Sentinel-1, and a few others, CYBR, but I don't like BlackBerry. Okay, um, not profitable. Okay, let's, uh, let's just run some numbers here. Uh, so sales is 1,480,000,000, correct. They're losing 269,300,000. But they do have a market cap of 22 billion, 50 million. Correct. Let's add cash and remove debt. Wow, they're really profitable. Or not, I take that back, they're not profitable. They're really growing their uh, margin. Their margins, not their margins. I need to correct myself. They're really growing their revenue, 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 and their profits. Okay, we got that off our chest. Okay. They have 1 billion in cash, very nice. So plus 1 billion, 13 million, yes. And 21, whoops, 130 billion, 21. 1 bill, 13, yep, yep, yep. Okay, and we're gonna remove the debt, which is 968 million, 670,000. 968 million, yep. Okay, and then just looking at total liabilities, they are at 2.2 .2 billion. Total assets, 2.8 billion. That's kind of cutting it close, in my opinion. Uh, it's cutting it really close. Let's go back up, and we're going to divide uh, this 23 billion divided by 85,700,000. So, one thing we need to be aware of, can you guys see? Uh, my head's perfectly in the way, okay. Let me make it smaller. So right here, we, we need to do two calculations here because this is going to be our aggressive price target and this is going to be our conservative price target. Although there is 85 million shares available to the public, there's 145 million outstanding. So the shares float could change to have more shares become available to the public. It's not quite dilution, but yeah. So the total fair stock price of this is 271. It's at 154. Um, so let's go back and take this 23 bill number and let's just plus zero to make sure it's, yeah, come on. Let's go back to the 23 bill. Okay, plus zero. Okay, and now we're going to take this and divide it by 145,350,000. So aggressive price target 271, conservative price target 160. So we're at 154 now. So we're okay. Um, in terms of the monthly chart, is there room to run? I think there is. Oh yeah, oh yeah, there's plenty of room. So this cybersecurity bug, um, CrowdStrike, oh, I don't know if I'm a fan. FTNT, let's see. FTNT I had on here is good. I had FTNT here is really good. Um, but uh, Okta is overvalued. Uh, ah, man, this is why I'm not a big fan of ETFs because there's some good winners and a lot of losers. Um, so overall, I like Zscaler as the number one position. Palo Alto is number two. CrowdStrike. Okay, since CrowdStrike is number three, let's check it out. But I really like PanW. PanW we have at 
uh, barely undervalued by 10%. Uh, CrowdStrike, let's see, CRWD. Please be profitable, please. It's not. Is Pan W profitable? I swear they are. Yeah, they are. And look at that candle. This was 220 when I made my last video. Now it's 246. So, gosh, I have I'm holding the stock, so I feel really good about this. Um, that's great. Uh, so Pan, like their top. Zscaler is not profitable. CrowdStrike is not profitable. FTNT was that profitable? It was profitable. That's a good one. Okay, so two out of the four are profitable. CHKP. This better be profitable. It's profitable. Okay. Um, ma, 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 ma. It looks really decently priced. No debt. That's good. Um, it looks like this one's been doing well. Let's just see average annual returns for CHKP. It looks like, honestly, 2013 was 43 and now it's 130. Eh. CHKP over 10 years. I'm going to say like 12%. 10%. Okay. So three out of five are profitable for Bug. Okta, I don't think Okta is profitable. Unfortunately, I know they make big money, but they're not profitable. Nope, they're still not profitable. Are they becoming more profitable? This would be a good one to get into, but... Uh, okay, they're improving. They're improving, you guys. They're improving. Okay. That's great. They are improving. Um, let's just do math on this one because I don't have it. Um, it's overvalued here in the future. So let's just do 1,960,000,000. And they're lose minus 691,300,000. Yep. And they have plus 12,310,000,000 market cap. Let's add cash, remove debt. Okay, plus 264 million. Yes, minus debt of 2 billion. Their debt's not getting any better, you guys. It went from 1.7 bill to 1.8 bill to 2.1 bill. Oh my gosh. Minus 2,193,000,000. All right, and let's divide this by $151,000,000, $10 stock, $76, okay, $76 stock, it's at 75 right now, um, I don't think it's done going down, wow, the stock used to be $20 and it went to $280, I think this has, I mean, it's priced, it's priced reasonably, and I think it's going to get better. It's not profitable. So uh, again, we have Zscaler, CrowdStrike, and Okta not profitable. Yeah. Yeah. What about CyberArk? I actually bought CyberArk today. Probably should have waited, but whatever. Um. Yeah, they're not profitable. Oh god, they're way overpriced. Uh, let's do my old handy dandy trick on them. They make 625 mil, 900 thou. They're losing 127 million, 600,000. They have a market cap of 6.25 billion. Add the cash. Revenue's going nicely, good. Okay, let's add cash. Plus three hundred forty-seven million, three hundred forty thousand, minus total debt, not that much, five hundred sixty-nine million, three hundred forty thousand. All right, and divided by shares 
float 40 million, 7,000. Oh, did I do that right? One, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, okay. So $162 stock trading at 149. So it is undervalued ish, but there's better attractive companies out there. Um, I bought this because of monthly momentum. So um, yeah. Again, another not profitable company. BlackBerry is not profitable at all. They are so far in the hole. Uh-uh. Okay, so now that we know bug, um, we'll keep this up just to see, but let's now look at um, CIBR. It's going to have the same monthly chart as uh, the other one. All right, we are on CIBR, similar setup. This one went from 14 to 56. That's a several hundred percent gain. This one only went to from 11 to 34. So CIBR seems a little bit more volatile. Um, it does pay a dividend as well. Let's take a look at the holdings. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Holdings, nice. Okay. You guys, these are, this is holding profitable companies. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Top holdings. How do I breathe without you? Fact sheet? Let's see if we can find the holdings here no nope. prospectus i don't think it's in the prospectus oh i'm a ding dong it's right here okay uh broadcom okay broadcom is avgo so let's go back okay, here do avgo Let's just see if uh, these companies are profitable in the top. So this one's profitable, AVGO, very nice. Um, Palo Alto we know is profitable, FTNT we know is profitable, right? FTNT. Yep, profitable. Uh, Cisco, that better be profitable, CSCO. Yep, profitable. Uh, Infosys. I don't know about INFY. It sounds like it's been around for a while. I would say it's profitable. It is profitable. Very nice. CrowdStrike. Oh, they have AKAM in here. That was our uh, the one in our thing. Okay, so let's uh, let's take a CrowdStrike again. I don't remember if it was profitable or not. Please be profitable. We're on such a good roll. Ah, it's not profitable. Okay. Uh, AKAM. Uh, and then Zscaler. Okay. AKAM is profitable. Nice. Okay, so so far only one. Uh, Zscaler is not profitable. Cloudflare. I don't know about that one. Let's see. Not profitable. Verisign. Interesting. Profitable. It's very nicely profitable. This one. What is this one? How long has this one been around? Ooh, very nice chart. Wow, went from like the 20, damn. Very nice chart. Okay, it's been trading sideways for almost th four years now. Crazy. Okay. Very nice. Uh, B-A-H. Why does that sound familiar? Booz Allen, why does that sound familiar? 
Um, wow, look at this chart. My head's right in the way. Wow. They're profitable. You guys, I think CIBR is the way to go. Um, Splunk. Let's check Splunk. Not profitable. Are they getting better? I guess I should have been looking at the companies that are getting better. Uh, it is. Wow. It is getting a lot better. Very good. Okay. Um, they have Okta again, CYBR, FFIV. So, okay. So a lot of the bigger holdings are profitable. That's good. This is really good, you guys. Um, Net Scout, that was on our list. RPD was on our list, but it was one of those ones to, uh, maybe it was, no, it was on the list. I think, yeah, we were going to come back. LDOS is on our list, and I think we like that one. LDOS, yeah, yep, yep. Uh, one that I really liked was, I bought it, uh, Lee, L-E-A. I don't see it on here which is fine. So this is better than bug. I'm just gonna go out and say that this is better than bug. Uh, now let's look at iHack. That's a good ETF name, iHack. Let's just look at this monthly chart. So this one went from 20 to 40, so only about 100%, which is fine. Uh, it does pay a little dividend again, cool. Um, it's all about the holdings. It's all about the holdings. Let's see what we got. I did not like how bug, is this bug? Yeah, bug. Bug's first holding is a non-profitable one. All right, we're in iHack. Here's the holdings. Accept all cookies. We love cookies. I like snickerdoodle cookies. Palo Alto, good. FTNT, good. Action technology, okay. CrowdStrike, non-profitable. Zscaler, non-profitable. VMware. Uh, is that profitable? Let's see. I don't think it was, but I think it might be changing. No, it is. It is profitable. Very nice. It's been trading in a slump. Uh, all right. Yeah. Let's see. When did it become profitable? Yeah, it's been profitable for a while. Uh, net income has been going down, though. Ooh, revenue is growing, profitability growing slightly in 20... Why is this... This is annoying. It show... It's so misleading. It shows me February 2022, Feb... Or yeah, February 2020... January 28, 2022, February 2023. So year over year, they didn't do as good. So... Yeah. I think this is a good company, though. Uh, I mean, the stock went from freaking 28 to 160, about 500% gain. Um, so iHack, I don't like how it has CrowdStrike and Zscaler, Okta, CACI. Did I have CACI in here? No. 10B, that's good. QLS, yes. BAH, we just looked at that one. It's good. SAIC, Juniper, AKA M, S, Calyx. Nice, nice. Black, they have Blackberry. Why do they have Blackberry? Uh, they have Rapid7, nope. Um, Everbridge. Um, bunch of cash, different, lots of cash for different countries. Very diversified with cash. Um, I would say this is, is number three. So I think I hack. No, I'm sorry. CIBR, then bug, then this one. Only because I don't. They have BlackBerry. Who 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 has black more BlackBerry? They have fourteen million dollars worth of BlackBerry, and this one has. 34 million of BlackBerry. 
Okay, so I lied. CIBG, CIBR number one, IHack number two, bug number three. Um, I mean, this one, uh, this one's pretty close because they do have some good ones up here, number one and number two. Um, but, uh, man. Maybe I just don't like how this is presented, but, yeah. Um, the management fee is 0.47. What's this one? Point five one. Okay, so yeah, so like I said, CIBR, I hack and bug. Let's now look at this one. UYCB. I don't know what that means. <laughs> All right, we're on UCYB, and this does not look good. Went from 30 to 58, down to 21. Let's see if this is redeemable. What do you think they have as number one, Blackberry? Let's see, exposures, just let me see, holdings. Uh, top 10, here we go. So, they have liabilities of 2 million. So they have CIBR. I don't, I don't show all holdings. I don't get what the, what all this is. Um, they're just holding CIBR. I don't get it. Some swaps. Uh, they're not doing too hot. Top 10 index companies. I mean, they're good companies. Except for Okta, CrowdStrike, Juniper, whatever. Let's look at Juniper. Juniper Networks. It's profitable. Um, Open Text Corp. What is this? They're profitable in Canada. Um, what do they do? Okay, so this didn't come up in my scan because the word cybersecurity is not one word here, so which is fine. Um, I mean, not 6, 12, 18, 24, 25, 30, 3, 36, 39, 42, 3. So this is about 45% of their holdings, but what? I don't get what this is all about. Um, maybe there's a CSV I can open. Uh, we'll look at a notepad, I guess. No, it's the same thing we're just looking at. So they're basically trading CIBR, which is the best one that we found. So this one is a dud. We're not even going to count this one. All right, the next one is the Wisdom Tree ETF. All right, we're looking at the Wisdom Tree with Cybersecurity Fund. It looks just like the last one. We went from 20 to 30, down to 14, now back to 20. So um, they pay a little dividend. Let's see what they have in their holdings. I hope they're holding actual stocks and not other ETFs. Uh, where's your holdings? 
Holdings, current day holdings, okay. Datadog, that's a new one. Okay, CrowdStrike, not profitable. Cloudfare is profitable. Palo's good. Don't know that one. FTF's good. Sentinel one, that's good. Zscaler, not profitable, but it's good. Rapid7, not good. Tenable's good. Fastly, okay. Four drop, whatever. AKM, good. Octa, okay. Quelsis, good. Veronis, okay. CyberArk, okay. Uh, digital arts. Okay, so um, I this one's not bad. Let's look at Data Dog real quick. D D O G, Data Dog. How is Data Dog? What's up, dog? Data Dog. All right. Uh, very similar to the chart that we're looking at. They're not profitable, but looks like they might be on the way to being profitable. They're actually getting away from being profitable. They they were negative 20, then negative 50, then negative 83. And lots of selling. So the director bought. Did he sell? Is he trading his stock like a crazy person? Yeah. Well, he bought at 68 and 70. Wow, he bought a lot. He bought $12 million worth and he sold... Ooh, not that much. Five million. So, wait, did I get that right? Yeah. So he didn't sell the boat like I thought he did, which is fine. Um, I mean, they're growing like crazy. So, I mean, they're, what's, like, why are they? Okay, so they're paying a little bit more than they were for customers back in 2021 to now, which is okay. What are their gross margins? Gross margins, 79%. Um, let's go ahead and do my uh, thing right here real quick. This is the number one holding for an ETF, and this is the first we're seeing it. So I'm a little suspicious 1.79 billion in sales minus 84 million in income not good plus 30 billion 95 million in market cap okay and let's add cash and remove debt it's like they have quite a bit of cash which is good not that much actually plus 338 million 999 thousand yep and debt they have minus seven hundred thirty-eight million eight hundred fifty thousand. Yes. And let's divide this by shares flow, which is two hundred sixty-three million five hundred thirty thousand. One hundred twenty-two dollars a share, and it's trading at ninety-five right now. So not a big premium. Um. I don't think this isn't the worst one out here. I think it's Fastly, I don't think Fastly is profitable either. Uh, Fastly is not profitable. Are they getting close to being profitable? Uh, no. Uh, yes, I'm sorry. They went from negative 220 million to negative 190 to 170. So at this rate, they should be profitable. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. this is yearly. So, gosh. <sighs> Nine years? Really? Total assets, 1.8 billion. Total liabilities, 940 million. So that's a good two to one ratio there. Uh, man, this one is just... I don't know how to feel about this. Datadog is number one and it's okay. Cloud CrowdStrike, number two. Cloudflare is good. Palo's good. I, uh, man, yeah, I think it's going to go 
CIBR as number one. So let's put, yep, CYBR here. Number two, I believe, is going to be IHack. Yep. Number two is iHack. Number three, I'm going to have to say it's between Bug. See, they have 53 million in Palo. This one has... Where's the holdings? Palo is 5.76% of how much? Total assets is 32 million. That's it. That's it. Yeah, I guess, um, I guess bug and then wisdom tree. I mean, they, they're going to lag so hard because they barely have any money in and uh the good ones so that's a bummer so the best cybersecurity etf is gonna be cibr number two is ihak number three is bug and number four is wcbr so do with that what you will I personally am likely going to buy CIBR in my Roth IRA because that one's going to be around for a while. So let's look back at the winner here, CIBR. Yeah, I think this one is going to be a monster. So this one went from 14 to 56, and now it's dibble a around here. So I do like this one. Um, yeah, I do like this one. So what's the um, prospectus here? I just want to see what the fees are. So... For every $10,000 invested in a CIBR, ooh, you pay $60, I think. Yeah, $61. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, not bad. I really like their holdings. Um, So let's, uh, I do, I'm going to look at the Wayback website and we're going to go back in time and see what their holdings used to be. All right, guys, we are on the Wayback machine and we're going to look to see if this ETF has been well managed in the past. So what I mean is you can see my screen back in 2016, 2017. I mean, we can see here that it was well managed, but let's see what kind of stocks they had back then. So what I'm doing is I'm on this website, the CIBR ETF website, and I'm just going to take this URL and I'm going to go and see if anyone has cataloged it in the past. And then if they have, what we're going to do is go back and look. Okay, so people have back in 2016. Ooh, what do you think the number one holding was back in 2016? If it was PanW, I've got some major respect. It wasn't. NXPI, that's not that's not even in the picture now. Cisco, AKAM, that's awesome. That's that was on our list. Wow, look how much it's changed. Wow, QLYS used to be 2.65%. And now it is 2.8%. <laughs> uh, but Pan W. 6.9% and they didn't even have broad come on here before. Oh, did they? Um I'm getting a hit. I'm getting two hits right here. 
I don't see Broadcom. A, B, G, O. No, okay. So it's not on here. So very cool. Whoever has been actively managing this has been doing a wonderful job. Let's look at 2017. March 11, 2017. Symantec was number one. Cisco, VMware, Pandew. All right. Um, Barracuda. I like how none of, like a lot of these don't even exist anymore on the ETF. Um, SYMC. Why did they take that one out? Oh, does it? Did it get bought? It probably got bought out. Okay, that's why. I'm just guessing there. Um, cool. Let's go to July 11, 2017. July 6, Palo Alto, number one, Akami, number two, great, Cisco, good, great, CUDA, is CUDA still, nope, um, Veronis, yeah, that was, a, yeah, you guys, these are, whoever's been managing this uh, ETF has been doing great, uh, big shout out, um, let's look at April 2023. Broadcom, awesome. FTNT, wow, they had FTNT over PanW. Cisco, PanW, Infosys, Okta, CrowdStrike, Obitech, Thales, Metron, AKAM. Very cool. Um, awesome. I want to see LEA. I think this is a profitable cybersecurity stock company. It is. Oh, it's auto parts. Um, yeah. It does provide cybersecurity software. Man, they make 20 billion, 21 billion in revenue. That's crazy. I bought this stock, I think. No, I did for sure. I bought this stock. Um, less than $1,000 worth. Uh, I think it was valued around four hundred dollars and now it's only at 143 so we'll see what happens with this one over time but um yeah i will uh i'm gonna contact these guys and see uh if they would consider that one just to see what they say i'll let you know what goes about that um but yeah if you guys made it this far please consider subscribing to my videos uh, like this video, comment, tell your friends, family. If you have any cybersecurity picks you want me to look at, let me know. And uh, yeah, hope you guys are doing well. Talk to you later.